Hey, how are you? I'm Lance Lee Davis with SoCal Spirit, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about freediving wetsuits. What makes a freediving wetsuit, care of and maintenance of a proper freediving wetsuit, and then also how to repair a wetsuit if it is damaged. There's two things that I would say differentiate a freediving wetsuit from your typical scuba or surf suit. The type of rubber used is going to be a lower density, uh, more compressible, softer rubber than what you would typically find on a scuba and surf suit. And generally, a cold water freediving suit will also be what's called open cell. This is an inside out suit. It won't have a lining on the inside. This makes the suit more comfortable to wear for long periods and also warmer. This suit here would be a typical spearfishing wetsuit for us here in Southern California. It's lined on the outside, but it's open cell on the inside, which means that it's very warm, yet the exterior is very tough. The suit, of course, needs to be lubricated to put on because this stuff is kind of sticky, but uh, upside is it insulates really well against the skin, so it keeps me warm, and it doesn't really leak because it like wicks against the skin. One other downside besides having to lubricate it is that this stuff absorbs odor. So the care of your freediving wetsuit uh, does matter. Well, I would say of the suits worn in SoCal, mostly they're all like this. This is a five millimeter. So I could wear this year round. Um, it's less warm in the winter, but in the summertime, I would have hours and hours in the water with this thing. This one would be more of a warm water wetsuit. Okay for competition or training. This one is smooth skin on the outside, so there's no lining on the outside. It's a little less tough, but it is much lower drag. And then the inside on this one is lined, so it's less warm, but it's still, this gives it good strength. This is like a suit that I would wear personally. This is two millimeters. I would wear this in Hawaii. It's a bit warm for the Bahamas and the Caribbean, but uh, for me, a two mil is perfect in Hawaii. This is not warm enough really at any time of year for Southern California. And then finally, the last uh, style suit that I have here is what's called smooth skin open cell. So you can see it's open cell on the inside, smooth skin on the outside. This is a five millimeter suit, so it's relatively thick for this style suit. We see these type suits mostly used for competition because they tend to be extremely delicate, a little pricier, difficult to repair, and the longevity of the suit, even if you take good care of it, is less. On the upside, the flexibility and stretch and comfort on this suit is incredible. So, um, you know, you're willing to take some of the downsides for uh, a little more comfort. So first thing is, I want to always turn the suit inside out. I'm not too worried about the exterior of the suit, but I want to clean and deodorize the inside of the suit. Do you use sink the stink or this odor eliminator? A couple of drops. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna kind of knead it around. 